Hi everyone, it's Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert, and I have a project for you today, making a time capsule to go in the backyard of your home, something that you can put sort of memories from whatever's happening in your life right now, and then finding it years from now to rediscover it, which is kind of fun. And you can do this with things you're gonna find at your local Ace Hardware store. Now this is a piece of three inch PVC. It's a piece of plumbing pipe that most stores sell in 10 foot lengths, but chances are they have short cutoffs already available for you at the store. But if not, they can cut a piece of this for you. Now, along with this three inch or four inch, whatever you decide to use, you'll find all kinds of fittings like these that go into uh, and connect with the uh, pipe. This is just a little cap that goes on the end. This particular cap is gonna serve as your removable door. This is actually a clean out uh, used for plumbing so that a plumber could actually do the rotting to come out of there. So what I would suggest you do before you do this is you've got to make sure that it's safe enough to dig in your backyard. Now depending on where you live, your municipality or city will have a, a service like Julie, which is a free service to you. You call them out, give them the address and the location where you're going to dig and they will come out and mark on the ground if there's a water line, a gas line, a fiber optics uh, line, something in the way, because you don't want to dig down and hit something and cause a problem for yourself or your neighborhood. All right, so this is a piece of three inch pipe. When you're doing plumbing, because we're gonna bury this in the ground, we actually want this to be watertight. Now, if you're doing any kind of plumbing, you've got glue and you have primer. This is a purple primer. I'm wearing gloves because this stuff is super sticky. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. It comes with a little brush already on it. And you take a little bit of this. And now look at the, on the top of the pipe, you see that black lettering that's on the pipe? Watch what happens when I put that primer on there. You see how it actually makes it, it disappear? That's actually cleaning the pipe and it's prepping it for the glue that you're gonna put on there. I'm gonna spin this around. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I'm just gonna take that primer and go all the way around and kind of clean that up. It's not important that you remove that lettering. I just wanted to illustrate to you what this is going to be. Now these are um, petroleum based products. So you wanna make sure you're using this in a well ventilated area because this is all very flammable. Now after a few seconds, that's gonna dry. This side over here is already dry. Now I'm gonna take the glue and I'm gonna use the same thing. It has a brush in there as well. And I'm just gonna take that glue and I'm gonna go around the piping like this to get a nice coverage on there. Now this stuff sets up really quickly. Now I'm gonna take that piece, the end cap here, and I'm just gonna spin it on like this. I'm gonna turn it a little bit so that it glues. That's it, it's already done. It's hardened. It's watertight, that seal. Come over here on this side. I'm gonna take that glue and I'm gonna go right around here one more time, one quick shot. And you wanna move quickly on this. You don't wanna waste a lot of time. I'm gonna take that fitting that I talked about. It's gonna be our little door. I'm gonna slide that on, spin it a little bit. And the minute you can't spin it anymore, you're done. So essentially now your time capsule is completed. Any kind of uh, treasures that you wanna put inside there, notes to your future grandchildren, maybe something uh, from the newspaper from today and wherever it's gonna go, you go ahead and put that inside there and then you seal this up and you tighten that up nice and tight. Now, if you want, you can spray paint it yellow so it's easy to find wherever you put it in the backyard. But if it were me, I'd make a treasure map like this. I just took a piece of uh, paper like this and I drew where the house was and where we're gonna bury it about 20 steps back from the patio and then seal this up somewhere and say, open this letter in 50 years. How fun is that?